Hey everyone, it's Derek here with Moy Sauce Productions, and today we're talking about my first Zwift race. What is Zwift, you ask? Zwift is a app or game, if you will, and basically you cycle and you get a indoor trainer or smart trainer, and you hook up a power meter, or the smart trainer is your power meter, and it essentially tells you or tells the game how fast you're going, what's your heart rate, and so on and so forth. You can hook it up to a smart trainer and this determines how difficult or how easy the actual riding is. My trainer specifically is a Dorito, um, or Doretto, um, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it's the Doretto Elite and it can gain up to 14 grade. So it's, it's pretty difficult. I've I think I've only seen maybe 12 grades, so either way it's very very difficult. And one of my buddies actually has a smart trainer, I think it's one of the tax ones, and it's, it actually simulates you going down a hill, so it gives you the free spin of a downhill, which is really nice because for mine, you can't really tell that. So I'm going to actually watch this while talking to you because I haven't actually reviewed this, I've only watched the end of it. And basically here you connect all your devices. I connected, um, I have an Ant Plus adapter to my laptop or to my computer, and this allows me to uh, detect my heart rate and my Doretto uh, Elite trainer, which is the, it detects the cadence, it detects the uh, power and it also detect like it also changes the resistance as well So what I actually wanted to do here was actually join up like 10 minutes earlier But I was running late and I was also trying to shoot the video while doing this so I, I joined like a minute before and didn't really get a warm-up in and I also <laughs> I also was hungry and I had to have a meal before so I had awesome a Wendy's JBC which is basically a, a junior bacon cheeseburger, a giant junior bacon cheeseburger. It's like a double giant bacon, double bacon cheeseburger. And it's not very big, but it's quite small. Uh, but you get chicken nuggets, french fries, and a drink with it. So basically I had that before this race, which definitely wasn't the best, but either way, was done, and this is what we're at. And typically I wanted to, like I wanted to do a 10 minute warm up beforehand, but didn't get that either. So, you know, it's counting down here and uh, basically you join with the companion app or if you sign up um, with the companion app, then it, it notifies you on the Zwift game that you have an event to join or an event that you signed up for. I signed up for the C class because I believe my FTP that was determined by the game was like 3.1-ish, so that's within the C parameters. Uh, there was also uh, A, B, and C uh, group that you could ride within. So here we're coming up to the start, and I really had no idea what to expect. Basically what I was planning on doing was just drafting off of other people and then hopefully staying in the first group and then eventually trying to take it at the end and basically I, I believe this is like a 10 mile race so um was just chilling in the front pack uh not trying to lead or anything like that but i ended up leading a couple times so uh, talking about power-ups during zwift i was told that you should probably save the power-ups at least if it's a good power-up for the end but this was a very flat course and I got a feather and I didn't know when I should use it and I also didn't know when the power-ups were going to be there. So it's probably a good idea to learn where the power-ups are going to be and to make sure you use them prior to getting there and in specific spots that would be useful to have them. Because I think there's like one or two hills here, hills, and it's not it's not a very difficult uh, route at all. It's it's very flat. So coming around here, so I believe this is ends up being two laps, and yeah, I 
didn't really know the route or anything like that. So that's probably something that you should learn is that, you know, this is the route and this is how long it's going to be and so on and so forth. So right here on the top right of the screen or the middle part of the screen, uh, it's telling you how many miles you have to finish. And so, um, and looking at the top right here, it looks like I'm in the top group with the sea level people. And so I, I think I was in good position. I didn't, I didn't know if there was anybody above, in front of me or anything like that. And I also don't know what happens if you win these either, because spoiler alert, I didn't win. <laughs> so coming along here, Yep, just trying to draft off of as many people as I can and, you know, save as much energy as possible. Uh, not really trying to ride up with anybody else. Uh, was thinking possibly of riding with, like, B riders, but um, there's some B riders mixed in with our C group. So coming to here, we got... Okay, so we got half a mile left. And this is where things start to turn up and people are starting to fight for position and whatnot. And you can see uh, to the right here, it shows you your leaderboard and it shows you uh, the group that you're in. It's basically a group of, I think like five or six people. And it's just going back and forth, back and forth. Like if you look at the top right, it looks like everybody's basically on top of each other, but there's actually uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people like right on each other. So it's, it's pretty close and pretty Pretty interesting and I think right here is actually where the finish is and there's actually a hill right before the finish which actually really helped me out so here's me sort of taking the lead because I see 0.3 miles left which is you know less than a quarter mile so this stuff on a bike should should be like you know 30 40 seconds and you know it was it felt longer than that <laughs> so here's everybody sprinting and then i realized that that's the finish there and then right now i'm in fifth and then pull some 807 watts and end up getting third which as you can see the finish right here it shows you sort of how how like the first place person in the b race and then all the way down to 10th and then um, myself at 11th, the overall race, but uh, s actually, um, whatchamacallit, third in the entire, in the C race. So, like I said, I don't know if you win anything for winning these races, but either way, I think it's something that's super motivational and it, you know, gets that competitive nature out of people. And, you know, it, it sort of shows you what you can do if you gamify basically anything. And it's, it's, it's a really cool concept. Um, but overall, I think it's, I haven't done many bike races. I've done many triathlons, but the bike races are definitely different. And it seems like uh, much different when you're playing it on a game because you just don't have that tactile feel that you would have if you were in real life. Like, if somebody was about to take off, you can hear their gears change. You don't have that interaction with these other people. You sort of just keep your eye out and, and see if they move. You can also see wattage-wise, or kilograms, or watts per kilogram, how fast they're actually pulling. And, you know, if you see somebody jump up to 10 watts per kilogram, you know, obviously they're trying really hard and they're, you know, starting to sprint and so on and so forth. But from the actual reaction times, it, it, it's like almost you have to stare at other people more so than you're worrying about yourself and then react to them or you know make your own move and let them react to you. I think that's gonna end up being, or it's gonna, that, that's probably the more, the, the best move to make is to make your move before somebody else makes theirs. But like I said, I was at a quarter mile and I was already in the lead and I was, you know, just, just cruising. I wasn't like sprinting by any means, but you know, I had basically everybody else seemed to slow down. So then I just moved up a little bit 
and it was definitely interesting because I thought a quarter mile would happen faster, but you know, my perception of a quarter mile is, is different when it's you know visually in a game. It's definitely uh, interesting because it actually tells you, it starts to switch to feet and tells you how far away you are from the finish line. So it is definitely interesting. I got third here and pretty awesome for my first race and being in the C group, it's not it's not the greatest thing in the world, but you know, it, it was definitely fun. And yeah, I mean, the whole concept of a race and uh, it's just interesting. So I'll definitely hit up more races. I did another race right after this because I just wanted to see what they were like and I, I didn't really try that hard because obviously I had just raced one and this was the one that I actually raced pretty hard in and I had just eaten a bunch of Wendy's beforehand so my stomach wasn't feeling that great and yeah that was my first Zwift race and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching.